I'm Charco Travels. I'm here with the Van Kooks, and we just got done at the Descend on Bend Van Life Meetup 2018. We've still got a lot of good people around us, and we're camping out with a bunch of vans right now. So we're going to interview them and highlight their rigs. I'm Wait. here with my friends Keith and Emily. How are you guys doing? <laughs> doing we're great. We're so good. We're happy to be here. Stoked, dude. Yeah. I'm glad to have met you at Descend on Bend 2018. Dude, we're so happy. Definitely. Yeah, and now we're in a caravan together, so life is good. Caravan. Caravan. And you want to tell us about your van, brother? Yes, yeah, so we got a uh, 2008 Econo line. Um, it's got, you know, 120,000 miles on it, so hopefully it'll last for the uh, next five, 10, 20 years. Nice. When did you get it? Uh, we just got it in July, built nice. it up. And what then, month is it, and how long is that? So, wait, that was. Uh, it's October 1st, right? It's something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Days don't really matter too much when you live in a van. <laughs> no. You never so, know what day it is. So it was three months ago. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right on. Three months ago we got the van, built it out, and left home um, August 2nd. Left South Carolina. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Now we're in Oregon. What was the particular reason for choosing the E-150? I'm also an E-150 brother, by the way. Um, You know, just cheaper to fix. Mm -hmm. A lot of them available, so. A lot of parts. A lot of parts. And then... We got this, you know, solid white. So got the roof rack. Kind of looks like a construction van if we if we need the stealth. Mm -hmm. We found out so far we don't really need stealth. <laughs> right on. I don't, wanna, don't really want to be places where you want to, where you need yeah, stealth. Yeah, so you don't spend a lot of time in the city, I'm assuming. No, no. not much time in the city. We need nice. to go for a day or two and then kind of keep restock and get out there. Keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so since starting van life, what's come up that you didn't really anticipate? You know, any any new things that have changed your perspective on the? Well, uh, I'd say this, like you know, meeting up with another group of Definitely. folks that are traveling, has been the most yeah. fun thing we've done so far. And we've seen you know the best parts of America, but just to link up with some other like-minded people. Yeah, the community is fantastic. So this has been really fun. The uh, Descend on Bend event was really surprisingly amazing. Like. We that had no expectations going into it, and it yeah. turned out to be phenomenal. Right on. Yeah. Why did van life appeal to you originally? Um, you know, just freedom. Like, I, I don't want to be part of any tours. I don't like having to be places at a certain time. You have complete autonomy in this thing, you know, and no matter what happens, you got a roof over your head, bare minimum, no matter what happens in life, so. Very true. And uh, yeah, we can just really drive around, see a lot. Whereas, you know, if you're paying for hotels, you can you work most of the time, you go on vacation for two weeks, and then you work for fucking four more months just to pay for staying at a hotel, so. Nice. Yeah. So what did you guys do before van life to rack up that, you know? Before van life, I was, egg. I worked as a paralegal, yeah. and I worked at a coffee shop, right New Moon Cafe, shout out. Yeah. <laughs> In where, South Carolina? Yeah, Aiken, South Carolina. Right yeah, I was a makeup artist at Sephora. So you've got a solar panel and some lights. I see you want to tell us about the power system in here? Uh, yeah, so our solar panel that's on the roof doesn't work. We, oh. uh, we're actually going back to my mom's house in Washington to pick up our new solar panel. So Very right exciting. now we're just uh, rocking with the alternator, which isn't the end of the world, but yeah, it gets you know, the job done. it's got the job done. So yeah, we got we just got our house battery down here and we got some reflectix, you know, Very important. we're keeping the sun out. But yeah, we got our house battery down here, got an inverter, um, and we just mainly use it for the uh, fantastic fan and some lights. So that's uh, that's all we're working with right now for power. Just pretty simple. Right on. But yeah, just gonna put the charge controller right up here, and then uh, yeah. Shouldn't have any trouble with once we get the solar set up. I see you've got the full bed design. Yeah, so like I'm tall, you know, I'm like 6'5", and then to be in a bed with another person, I'm gonna need a decent sized bed. And then this one I can stretch out all the way. So most important thing really, get a good night's sleep every night. Mm -hmm. So we kind of based it, based our floor plan around that. And then, uh, you know, figured out the storage from there because we had to, gotta have a place to sleep. Absolutely. What kind yeah. of storage do you have under the bed? It's the whole bed storage. Right. Yeah, I can yeah, show it all you. Lifts open. We got like hinges. the front one uh, comes right here, opens up easy. That's like stuff we really want to access quick. And then since it's just a memory foam mattress, you just I can show you in the back. Just right pull it up. It'll be easier to show you back there. How do you organize your kitchen setup? All right, so the kitchen setup right here, we got like a lot. Most of our food, 
spices and stuff. Got our water up here. You know, this guy. And then we have all this storage up here. So, I mean, you can see we got loads of kitchen storage right here. Um, if we want to cook, oops. If we want to cook, we kind of, uh, I'll show you guys what we do for that. So we just got these, we cut it an angle, fit right under here. That holds it up. Then we just set the stove up right here, you know, cook, cooking outside the van easy. You know, I can, uh, so when I want to stand up and cook outside the van, just stand right here. If we're in like Walmart parking lot and I don't want to be outside the van, I can just sit right here, long arms, can reach all the stuff easy. Got everything I need right here. And uh, here's our, uh, you know, pot, silverware, everything right in there. So uh, it's been so far, it's been really uh, working well, really easy to cook, which is nice. You know, it's anything you can do to get rid of the stress of living in a van. <laughs> For our uh, cold stuff, we just keep the cooler up here, right between the two seats. It uh, frees up a lot of room for storage and stuff over there. And so far, I'd say with this cooler, I probably need to buy ice every four days. Sometimes it could go five. Depends how you know what the weather's like outside. So I mean that's it's like five dollars a week in ice, and uh, we're we we gotta go to the store that often anyways. So ha hasn't been a problem at all for us. But um, we haven't done any you know two week out in the bush kind of trips. So we'll see what uh we'll see what it's like. I, I've been backpacking and stuff. I know how to live without ice, but so. We'll just see how we uh, how we handle that when we, when we come to it. So far, it's been easy. So the things that really matter, I think, in a van this size, this seat being on a swivel is like huge, enormous. I, it would be so much different if I was stuck back there with her while we were in the van, stuck in the van. It would be uh, significantly different. And then other than that, you know, we just got the fan. The fan and the seat are like critical. Yeah, I think those are kind of the things you need to really make it comfortable you don't even need solar you've proven that right yeah you don't we don't need solar for just that fan you know so it's uh it'll be interesting though in the winter we and we can just sit and park for a week or more put the solar out easy down in arizona or something mm -hmm. all right ready mm -hmm. here's a really cool setup i i really enjoyed this you just take these out like that but then check check out what he did back here. Look at that. He notched it out so that way it would fit the curvature of the oh, van. Shoot. As anyone who's ever built out a van knows, dealing with that curve is the most obnoxious part. I see you got a ton of storage back here. That's pretty awesome. You want to tell us more about how the bed moves? Sure. Yeah. So the bed right here, we just got it. It's just memory foam. Just lift it up. Then we just go in right here. Clothes, dirty clothes. Climbing shoes. Yeah, vibrant. shoes. Then we got a bunch of books. We, I mean, we actually have more room than we need under the bed. Who gets to sleep on this side? I sleep on this side. Ooh. I, yeah, he's like, I got the two. I got the two. <laughs> you got two. Mats. Wow. Yeah. But the princess you know, in the pee. No, but honestly, with memory foam, you don't need those sleeping mats. That we. I just didn't have anywhere else to store them, and I wanted to sleep in the tent sometimes. So. Yeah. Right gotta right. have them. That's a great place for them. Yeah, yes. and then. Oh. Uh, all right. I like that elephant painting you've got. Can you want to highlight that? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I got that. Uh, I got that elephant so. picture. That's um, Angkor Wat. That's, I got that when I was in Cambodia. And then this other picture here is yeah, just... who are those folks? That's just this... Uh, my dad gave me this magazine, and it had this, uh, you know, profile on a couple who lived in a van. And so uh, it was kind of just inspirational. And I thought it was a really good picture. So I've, I've ripped it out of that magazine and I've had it like for probably two years. Right on. And then once I got the van, I had to just put it up, yeah, right? I had to keep it with you. Yeah. Making the dream happen, man. So I heard that you're going to make an Instagram account. Is that true? Yeah, you guys, uh, the Van Kooks have inspired me and peer pressured me <laughs> and pretty much held a gun to my head. Everything so but. I'm going to be uh, creating an Instagram and uh, they've given me the name that I'm going to use. It's going to be Van Jesus 666. So uh, follow along with our travels on there. We're uh, going to go drive down to Las Vegas here and go see the Conor McGregor fight and then up through Utah, Arizona and then down to Baja for the winter. So follow we'll us on there. follow us there, Van Jesus 666 and uh, and 
Oh yeah, mine is It's Me, M-E-B. Uh, <laughs> and she'll also be posing naked pictures. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to say <laughs> You should say that you're posting the naked pictures of her on your Instagram so you get the followers. There you're really you go. gonna pimp out your girlfriend like that. Right. Alright. If you're gonna do it, you gotta go. All right, pimp hands strong on this one. 